So hopefully everyone can see my presentation. I'm hoping you can all see that. <laughs> uh, so good afternoon. We cannot see, see it yet. No, not yet. Okay. Just let me know when you can. Yeah. Yep, we can now. Great. Yep, everybody Brilliant. can see your presentation now. Thank you. So good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. My name is Karen Sandhu, and I am Head of Financial Business Services and Technology at London & Partners. So London & Partners, who are we and what do we do? We are London's trade, investment and promotional agency. So we help to attract international investment into London by attracting major events, students, tourists and businesses. We are part of the Mayor of London's office and our services are free and confidential. Our Visit Love, uh, London website gets about 3 million hits uh, per month. We have over uh, 111,000 international students in 47 universities. Our events team work to attract international events into London. We bid and won a financial services event called Cybos, for example. We work with the NFL, Major Baseball League, and help to drive international events into London. And we also run London Technology Week, which also took place virtually in September and June of this year. So our offices, we're all over the world, not in Turkey just yet, but we are in London. We have five offices in North America. We're in Paris, Berlin, Munich, um, and in India and China. Our teams are on the ground speaking to businesses and trying to attract major events into London and sowing the seeds about London years in advance. So how do we support businesses? We support businesses at every stage. We support international businesses as you look to expand into London. So I head the financial business service technology team. We also have a creative team, um, innovation and life sciences and urban. We help um, businesses from around the world, not just in where we have a presence, um, as they look to scale and internationalize. We also support you as you grow once you're settled in London. And then we have two trade programs that help businesses as you look to expand and, inter and internationalize. So we have the business growth program. You can see the requirements on the stage there, on the slide, sorry, there. Um, this, is, um, this helps London-based businesses who might be having barriers to scale. And then we have the Mayor's International Business Programme. It's a wider programme, it's a longer programme, and it helps businesses who are looking to internationalise. And I'll be going through that in a bit more detail. So firstly, why London? So the UK is second in Europe with regards to ease of doing business. 71% of students who come to study here stay here after graduation. We have general... Um, Generous national R&D tax credits, 230%. We have a fair and balanced employment regulation. Um, and London, we're obviously geographically blessed. We can cover the 90, 95% of the world's market. And you can start your day speaking to Asia and finish your day speaking to North America. And we have low corporation tax. And also, we should mention that we um, are always on the move when it comes to transport. We have six airports connecting us to all of the world's major markets and great public transport. The Crossrail line will be coming into play in two years. We've got the underground and it connects about 1.5 million people within 45 minutes commuting distance from London, which isn't too bad in case you're wondering, it might sound long, it's not too bad at all. So this slide is really about customers. Londoners and the UK are typically early adopters of technology. By 2026, it is predicted that cash will be used for just 21% of payments in the UK. 71% of digitally active customers um, took up um, uh, a financial services app. In fact, 6 million adults downloaded a FinTech app since the start of lockdown. And the UK financial services industry is the second largest spender on cybersecurity globally. This slide is busy, but it's all about talent in London. 
London is a diverse hub of talent. We have over 233 languages spoken in London alone. For us, London comprises of 33 boroughs in central London. We have over 270 nationalities, and you've got over 600,000 people in the creative industries, over 60,000 people in the life science industries. You have over 260,000 people who are in the who are in tech, and over 44,000 people who work in financial services. Um, and we're very proud to say that we have over 357,000 developers in London. That's the highest in Europe. This slide is very busy, but it gives you a map and a sense of the kind of companies that we have in London. Um, Shoreditch, where you see a cluster um, kind of in the middle to the right, um, is initially where a lot of tech businesses came, but, and it was called Tech City. But actually now we say Tech City as the whole of London. It's all the way to the east, all the way to the north. So how has London pivoted during this crisis? We at London and Partners went virtual very quickly. So for our trade missions, we've taken virtual trade missions in the fintech and urban space to China, to Germany, to North America with more planned. There's one coming, um, coming up to the Middle East. We realize we can now not just take virtual missions to New York or just to Sydney, you can take them to the whole of North America or the whole of Australia. And this has enabled us to get speakers on Zoom, very much like this, that you might not have been able to do face-to-face. -face. We have hosted resilience and recovery webinars for businesses looking to expand into London. They have, these have been attended by our partners in the accountancy, legal, relocation, immigration space, all answering questions from businesses considering expansion. We've held roundtables with ministers and key stakeholders for our companies who are growing in London. And our business growth programme had the biggest and most diverse cohort this past summer with 81 companies attending their programme. They delivered over 100 one-to-one -one meetings and 21 core business workshops. We've had two very big campaigns. These are just two of them. The Mayor of London part with Crowdfunder on the hashtag pay it forward campaign which offers small businesses across the city the chance to pre-sell their services during the coronavirus shutdown. By connecting them to their local communities and providing 100% free fundraising, London's businesses were able to generate income and manage cash flow while keeping the public safe. We also launched hashtag because I'm a Londoner campaign that encourages Londoners to rediscover their local areas past, post lockdown by tagging because I'm a Londoner and it shines a spotlight on London and helps Londoners to feel confident that going out responsibly is safe and will be a great experience. London's tech community really came together in so many ways during this crisis. The UK government committed to supporting businesses and creating large economic stimulus packages designed to protect businesses and employees during and after the pandemic. This ranged from interest-free loans to grants for SMEs. The Mayor of London announced that 1.6 million of emergency funding is going to help artist studios across the capital, helping over 11,500 creative businesses. And it wasn't just governments that stepped up. The tech community also did. Founders and entrepreneurs can apply to the Kickstart Programme Fund, a joint venture by Evening Standard, a newspaper here, and VC firm Triple Point, offering anything from 100,000 to 150,000 to London's best new tech ideas. There are initiatives to combat COVID-19 and support the community also. India and the UK launched a collaborative project to create solutions to coronavirus-related issues, such as ventilator and medical equipment shortages. University College London launched a 100 million fund to back startups founded by alumni that develop medical research as well as AI. Alibaba provided free cons consult, uh, computational pro, uh, platforms and AI driven tools to research institutions worldwide to accelerate the development of vaccines and treatments. Mercedes made ventilators. There were so many acts of kindness and the hashtag London together trended. Ola Cabs, an Indian cab company, offered Ola services for key workers. 
Hotels offered free rooms for key workers, tech companies made visors and hand sanitizers. There were lots of free online courses and support. One of our trade clients offered their online learning platform for free to schools that had closed. LinkedIn offered free learning courses covering everything from working remotely to time management and managing stress. Capital Pilot launched their 75,000 summer special free assessments and ratings for 500 startups and scale-ups to help fundraise, fundraising at this challenging time. And Tech London Advocates launched, uh, it's a big uh, advocacy group in London, launched their education resource hub to showcase what is an offer, focusing on digital skills, apprenticeships and ed tech. London has always been a city where partnerships thrive and they continue to do so with businesses coming together to form new alliances in the face of adversity. From US tech firms to or European startups, companies from around the world continue to choose London to continue to grow and expand their business operations. The City of London partnered with the FCA, the FCA is our Financial Conduct Authority, a regulator, to pilot the digital sandbox. This new service will provide enhanced support to innovative businesses tackling challenges caused by the coronavirus crisis. Um, Fitbit, a global wearable company, teamed up with King's College to launch a new app that will allow scientists to investigate the use of wearables that can detect coronavirus. Code Ninjas, a uh, tech and STEM education school from the States, launched two UK centres in London. And London agency MHPC announced a partnership with a leading Turkish fintech to support their European expansion. Tech corporations, institutional investors, and global VC firms continue to invest big in London businesses, which are bringing with diverse and inspiring talent, expertise, and innovation. FinTech companies, London companies, secured over 3.6 billion worth in venture capital investment this year, which is outstanding. London EdTech um, company Kano focused on teaching children how to code and raised $1 million from tech giant Microsoft. And the coronavirus pandemic accelerated the rapid growth of the UK cybersecurity sector with 104 million invested between March and May of this year. That's compared to 10 million in the same period in 2019. 20 million was invested into business projects, develop innovative and ambitious ideas from Innovate Finance. And What Three Words, a London-based location identifying platform, which is increasingly being adopted by emergency services, received investment from Channel 4 Ventures. So how can London partners help you should you be choosing to want to come to London and expand your business? We can help in a number of ways. Everything from advising on research and insights and data. We've got London comparable data to the rest of the world and everything from cost of living to regulation and ease of setting up your business. We can introduce you to our network of partners. We have about 50, even very carefully selected and are used to working with international businesses such as yourselves in assisting to help you set up in London. And we can also advise on networking events, associations and networks that you might want to be plugged into. And we can do that virtually now as well. So if, if you're worried about that, that's not a problem. This is just um, a kind of a global newsroom. If you are interested in getting any good news stories from London partners, all you need to do is just send a message from your phone to this number. And then you get some good news stories. You only get a message from London partners, no one else but I just thought I'd put up there in case of it's of interest. And that's it from me. Thanks so much for listening.